Well, as some might say, here goes nothing. Wreck the halls with a double IPA by a full sail brewing company. La ti da. Hey, this is Matthew. I'm chewing the brew again. My family was just laughing in the other room at my hijinks, but <laughs> they also know I sing all the time, so whatever. Um, today, I will be enjoying the Wreck the Halls Double IPA by Full Sail Brewing Company. I've had several of their beers, both at their brew pub, tap room, restaurant thing, and up here, and they're pretty darn good. It's a Hood River Organ Brewery, one of several exemplary beers from there. And uh, let's just dive right in. So, I mean, with the name, you would expect this to be a holiday-themed double, I double IPA. And once again, double just means um, higher ABV, higher alcohol content. And usually um, with a double IPA, you'll expect, even with the, the hoppiness, the prominent hoppiness of an IPA, the maltiness and frankly the alcohol will definitely be stronger characters in those beers. Um, so to start with, my goodness, that is a beautiful color. That is a uh, honey, that is a honey colored beer. And the head has a, a slight tan um, to it as well, uh, coming from the beer itself. And yeah, rocky, so bubbles of different sizes. And lingering, that's a thick head and it is hanging on. So honey color beer, it was beautiful pouring, that's for certain. And uh, a nice kind of creamy tan head. And what do you smell? Well, you don't smell anything. What do I smell? I smell um, oranges. Oranges and limes, not lemons though. That's a pretty standard smell I'd expect from a a, a citrus, you know, citrus direction IPA. So definitely not unexpected or unpleasant. Um, I'm not sure what the holiday aspect of this beer would be, whether they tried to spice it up with holiday spices, that would be unexpected. Um, I would also expect to be able to smell that if that were the case. Uh, so maybe it's just the season. This is released leading up to the holidays, and so it's using, you know, whatever hop varietals and, and you know, malts are relevant to this season. I really don't know. But it smells like a good double IPA to begin with. So, I mean, it's what you expect, right? Yeah, just citrus. Good citrus, but just citrus. Oh. Two, three, three different distinct flavor levels. There's a there's a nutty a nuttiness to the malt that's kind of it's pr it's present right there at the beginning, and then it kind of builds and grows until it's all that's left. Um, and is that the malt or is that maybe it just it, it flows into the the hop, kind of the mouthful of hop herbs that that is the finish here um so there's kind of a nuttiness at the outset and a mild sweetness some some double op, double ips can get kind of too far into the sweetness more um not thick just just kind of sweet and it's not it, it's not a bad thing but it can be just out of balance or that's just all there is to them this there's that sweetness but it's got this really strong nutty character that that comes alongside right right at the outset along with the sweetness and then that kind of seems like the the backbone that runs through the whole beer so alongside that nuttiness it starts with the with the the kind of the the malty sweetness the the higher alcohol um and the, the more alcohol comes from more malts so that's that's where the alcohol comes from you don't derive the alcohol from the hops so you're getting more malts to produce more alcohol in this double IPA. So a higher malt, malt character is what you'd expect. Perfect. So I'm getting that, that malty sweetness, 
and then that kind of fades and then it, it kind of transforms and, and the, the hops take over and that's what you're left with. But now a minute later after I haven't had it in my mouth any longer, there's almost a, a syrup sweetness along with still that kind of nutty lingering note. That's really kind of interesting. Tasty. They, they work together. They don't, they don't conflict. There's a couple different points. Um, I'm not sure if they're super strongly connected. It doesn't feel disjointed like some other beers. It feels like a nice flow. So yeah, I guess it is nicely connected. Um, and that works pretty well. And yeah, you can I can feel the warmth of that. So this is an eight and a half ABV, eight and a half alcohol by volume. Um, like I said, double IPA is due to the higher alcohol content. Um, and now I'm, it's kind of that kind of hot breath you, you taste after, after maybe a, a liquor. That's, it's pretty good. It's a nice little journey there. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. That's a good beer. Um, I think what I like about it is that the, the different flavors are, are distinct. They, it's not that they stand apart or they're, they're isolated from each other, but they're distinct. They're there and you can taste them and they're interesting. And then the next one comes along and it's there and you can taste it and it's interesting. Um, so all the way through, it's, it just tastes tasty. Different tasties, but tasty all the way through. I like that. That's, that's, that, 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 this is a beer I enjoy. And I think I'll leave it at that. This is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew and regaling you with whatever the heck that was I started with. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.